Oh my god, Revice is here! Like, oh. in the room? Technically, yes. I mean, yeah. I even have the driver. Do I? I'm oh, yeah. It. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm surprised you should not like, Oh, Saber is gone! It's done! No! Yeah, I'm trying to... <laughs> You're going to burn out from it now. Just like, I'm just... I don't think I've actually fully processed that there's no more Saber. Saber's gone. Until the crossover movie. Until the movie. And then the, the V-Cinema with all three of them. Yeah. Yeah. I want the Espada movie now. You'll get your Blades movie, don't worry. Yeah. So, I haven't gotten my stake in yet. Yeah, you check out this month, I yeah, think. Maybe next month. Let's just get your right. I've been seeing videos of people with theirs. I just love it does the full henchings. Yes. Um, Peter Rocco! Shit. We are live! Mike! Zenkai Gun! Connect! Loading. Broadcast. Tempered zeal. Blue caster. Super Ichi. Mountain impulsive. Gray caster. Lay. Spark of courage. The power of dreams. Orange caster. Global soft perka. Broadcasting hundreds of opinions across the world. Radio Sentai Cast Ranger. On air. Welcome everyone to Radio Sentai the Cast Ranger episode 356. 357. Hi, but the Blazy Coon Pokemon desk. Tropius. What? They're a big tree. Yeah, with the banana with the banana chin. How fun that this is the first episode we talk about Revice, because it's gonna be full of tropes, maybe? See, what weirds me out is like whenever I, I first you meant gonna be bananas. When I first <laughs> saw this Pokemon, like I, I thought it always looked cool and like Ruby and Sapphire. And then, like, I saw it in, like, one of the 3E games, and, like, his, like, leaf wings, they, like, were spinning around, and that fucking weirded me out, and, like, I didn't like it, it now. It is weird. Tropius, Tropius. I love Tropius. It may not be useful in battle, but aesthetically, I love it. Should have gotten a Mega Evolution. I think that would have been really cool. Oh, that would be, like, an even thicker, longer tree. It's like a cornucopia of fucking fruit or something. I haven't said that word in a long time. Well, cornucopia. Cornucopia or yeah. fruit? Or the F yes. <laughs> I'll let you guys decide. <laughs> All right. So if you happen to be tuning it, tuning in for the first time uh, to our show, thank you for checking us out. We're a bunch of stamps who get together every week. Yeah, and we talk about Comrade, Super Sentai, and a third thing. <laughs> you did the halfway stamp. <laughs> that stamp was cool. Yeah. Uh, no, we're barely holding it together. Uh, so this week we're talking about the debut, the premiere of Kamen Rider Revice, the third in the Reiwa era, and I couldn't be more excited to talk about this show, because I liked it already. Um, Zenkaiju episode 26, which was a very Stacy-focused episode, so yay. And for our feature topic, we are talking about part one of the Yodana special, and what? What a ride! And this is only part fucking one! But we'll get into that later. We will need about five hours to talk about part one. We're gonna gonna need about an hour of this shit, because it's a lot to talk about. Wow. Uh, But anyways... I'm I'm excited that Emily's excited. Yeah, Emily was just like, like, surprise I love this! And we're just like, why is it that good? And then we watched it, we're like... Yeah, like, like, what the heck was that? And why was it kind of awesome? It was like... Parasite crossed with like I don't know like like Madoka Magica and and like jeez um well, we'll get into what we get into it. I love that yeah. Seven is comparing Revice to the fucking Gates Revive Chime. Divide 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 come in right to Revice Revice. <laughs> well, anyways, I'm well, sorry. I I don't know. I don't know how to really even describe it. But I guess I'll try to think of something before it starts. Well, I don't have the bumper set up quite yet, so don't worry, Ichi. Lady improvise. I'll take care of it. <sighs> hey, she.
All right. Yeah! I caught my revise! I got the revise driver! It's awesome! I love if it. If we get flagged for that, I'll be fucking angry. Yeah, so our bumper's not gonna be, like, apart from the opening or anything. We're just gonna get take the, the end of the revise henshi. I'll drivers. have a high-res rip for next week. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's dope. Yeah. Um, but anyways, yeah! So, Colorado Revice, episode one, it's finally here, and oh my god, I fucking love it. It is so good. <laughs> I will say that while the suits may be wildly out of my taste preferences, mm. I'm excited by what I've seen. Yeah. The events that I watched on screen were exciting. Yeah. Cause like I like that the just the stout they they've already like made world building like our villains are already established and they're already like a threat and a thing they already there's already an organization who's trying to fight this evil organization uh you know the main character has like a family and like a mother father brother and sister and they like own the bathhouse yeah and... I, I like that it seems like the family is going to be a major propon component of the series. At least for a while. Wait, 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 see, like, Decker just put over a high-rise picture of these. Look at, look at these beautiful boys. Look at these dorks. No, I, lo I love Vice's fucking design. It looks so good. Like, I, he, I, like, it, like unhenshied and henching. I, I don't like the designs. Look, like you've got, he was like, quite, um... He was quite Venom. Like, well, I... It seems like he's, they're, they're trying to pull, like, Venom, Deadpool, that kind of throw the kind of character i like how he he broke the fourth wall though i admit i like that no and honestly i fucking hope he keeps that going the rest of the show you know I what like i'll tolerate it as long as he doesn't fart because he hasn't done it in this episode yet and as long as he doesn't break that wind then <laughs> i'll tolerate the rest of it breaks the wind <laughs> <laughs> The entire show is just like a, a really long version of that vine with like, what would you like to eat? The souls of the innocent. A bagel. No! Two bagels. <laughs> you know what I just realized? Next week is he's going to be debuting the eagle genome, like the double form. What do you suppose is going to be the source of the wind that blows when he becomes his double inspired form? Fart. I hope is not. That? I hope I hope he farts because I like fart jokes. No, fart humor is my absolute favorite. It makes me laugh my ass off. Oh, really Japan like... loves it even more than you do. So yeah. I'm afraid that's gonna happen. I now. just remember the Obi Rafu fucking thing, the battery or whatever, Judenchi from Pure Returns. But <sighs> it's not that I hate all fart jokes. It's just when they when they just do it for no reason, just to, ah, fart. <laughs> like you know. When Dan plays the fart sounds on Game Grumps, that's funny. Yeah. Or like when more their Mario Bros. 3 playthrough where they kept jumping on like the giant Goombas and they'd make fart noises yeah. and stuff. That's fucking When weird. done right, they're fine. They're funny. But like just doing it for the sake of ha ha look at it, stick his butt out. I'm just kind of realizing now that I think that fart noises are funnier than actual farts. Correct. Oh, absolutely. No, if you hear someone actually like ribbing one in real life. It's like like ribbing one? Like yeah. Having fart noises come out of random things that fart noises shouldn't come out of are, is hilarious. Yes. Yeah. Um, so anyways, this episode first starts with, in 1971. <laughs> 50 years ago! 50 years ago. In South America! Indiana Jones discovers a stamp. Yeah. Because they, they, you know, this is the 50th anniversary of Ryder, so they're really fucking trying to tell you, hey, 50... 50 years! Remember how I said this series was a hodgepodge of a bunch of previous shows? Denno because of the Imagine, Wizard and Gaim because of the, the soccer and, 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 the, and the other themes. Kuga oh, because it opens oh, in a fucking tomb! Yeah! It reminds me of Build where they, when they found that Mars, the, the Pandora's box. Yeah, thing. it's got the same vibe. Yeah, and the dudes in there are just a bunch of archaeologists speaking very bad English. And then one of them holds the stamp and then he gets the possessed and he just gets the the wanting to stamp his arm, and it's like, no! And then it blows up. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then it's just footage of just, like, this these two guys watching it, and one of them is our, uh, our one of our, not one of our main characters, but he's the the, the, uh, the creator of the Revice driver, George. <laughs> George Karizaki. And I... I, for one, love the fact that this guy's name is fucking George. A guy who made a common Rider belt, his name is George. I can he's, already... He's, he's I can already tell that this guy is 
aiming yeah. to become the next meme lord. Some guy made amazing fucking drawing of George. That's a drawing? That's a fan art drawing of George. Holy shit! Yeah, no, that's fucking great. Oh, that's, that, that's really nice. It's a really good drawing of George. Everyone loves him. I, like, I, to go a bit ahead, I loved when, like, he saw Aki grab the bell and he just went, hey, 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 oh. hey, hey! I love like, that he's I, got fucking gunner glasses. Like, I, I love this enthusiasm he has about yeah. it. Hey, 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 the random English in, in, inserting in stuff, I always think that's funny. Um, I think it's it great! Be, and you, English. And yeah. you know, you know he's going to become a writer eventually. He has to. I hope so. Oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about this earlier, and you were like, oh, he, and his suit should have a lab coat coming off it. And I'm like, that would be fucking amazing! Yeah, have a lab coat Honestly, for part yeah, of the time. A, a collab coat on a rider. And Itchy, I know you don't want it, but I no. think it'd be funny if his name was Common Rider George. No! <laughs> don't do it! The George Driver! Toei, I know you're listening! Don't do it! The George Driver. <laughs> the George <laughs> Driver. <laughs> And he just has a stamp that's like himself. No, you know what? This the George stamp. This guy talks a lot about his father. He seems to have a lot of family pride. I could see maybe like the Karizaki driver. Oh, like his inner demon is like his dad. Oh shit, that would be amazing. There you wow. go. Okay, so, some talk on boost shit. Coming, if that ends up actually coming true and we called it this early, then I really don't think there's any any way it's possible oh, that they're no. not watching. <laughs> there you go. Henshi for Pi just figure it out. Car Rider Phoenix. Oh, you know what? I'd like that. And he uses that a Phoenix makes a stamp. Lot more sense. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's just a fucking stamp by stamp with like the Phoenix logo on oh, it. Oh, that'd be rad. There you go. I and and the, like, um, and the animal typing, is a Phoenix. When typing the name in, that the way that it's spelled, the as in the organization, F E N I X, is a completely valid way of spelling the mythical creature as well because it doesn't try to correct it. Yeah. I was part of a clan, and when I played Counter Strike in high school, and uh, one of our clan members' his name was Phoenix with, uh, with an F. Ooh. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> we get to see what the revised driver looks like, and they're displaying it in a PC tower. <laughs> and someone actually found and identified which PC case it is, so you can in fact go and buy your own to display your driver in. You know what? If I if I was making more money in my job right now, I pro and I had more space in like where I live right now, I'd probably buy it to display it in there because I fucking <laughs> love that. Man, when Toei cuts the budget somewhere, it shows. Yeah, and like I like that it actually like apparently someone uh, noticed that there's like a warning label somewhere. Like I forgot where I, I saw it on Twitter, but there is like a there's like a warning label that talks about how it's like very dangerous to use this belt without like the proper yeah things without George. But yeah, and I like that they have the fans like the cooling fans running in it. Yeah, I guess the the driver requires cooling. Like, imagine, like, having this, like, lit up in the tower and stuff like that, and just how, like, fucking pretty this belt would look. Oh, yeah, it's just like how fucking real hardcore PC gamers have RGB lighting in their in their towers. I'm, I'm really happy I got my revised driver in time to talk about the first episode. Yeah. This, this thing came ridiculously Yeah, there fast. it is. The name of it, the name of the case is Cool Man Gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> and you can get it on Newegg. Yeah, and then you just put the Forza Gorilla fucking stamp in it with the driver. Cause, oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, that's great. I love that. Um, so then, yeah, so then we get introduced to our main character, uh, Iki Igarashi. Well, before we see him, we actually see our oh, villains, yeah. the Dead Mans. Dead Mans. And... Who really are, like, Mexican Day of the Dead themed. I thought that was kind of, like, like speculation, but no, they seem to actually be. They're straight-up Mexican monsters who yeah. are apparently... Running a dance club for disenfranchised teens. And their their catchphrase is Gracias, Dead Man's. And also one of the main ones is named Aguilera. Christina Aguilera! Aguilera. Wait, no, no, I don't think there's any Christina in there. No, but I'm calling her that all year. I'm a demon in a bottle. <laughs> I'm a demon in a bottle. I'm a demon in a bottle. I'm a demon in a bottle. Gotta stamp me the right way. Oh my god, that makes too much sense. I'm angry. Yeah, and the foot soldiers are called Junia, apparently. And they look Wait, like fucking. Is that, is that not Britney Spears? No, good to Gina the Ball was Christina Aguilera. Aguilera. <laughs> yeah, Christina Aguilera. It was like one of her first singles. Oh, yeah, the. Okay, oh, okay, so it's Junior. Yeah, it, 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 They're Junior okay, Geefers. Yes, yeah, so they apparently worship a god who is like dead or in hibernation or something named Gifu, and Aguilera is apparently his fiance. So I'm hoping 
to God that they revived this guy pretty early in the series, and it's not like, oh, it's one of those last-minute fucking final villains we get, and he's only on for, like, two episodes, and they defeat him, and that's it. So mm-hmm. I hope I hope this guy gets revived, like, not soon, but relatively soon. I will say halfway. Quarter halfway, I'd like. Maybe, like, ooh, 30s. Yeah. Uh, also, I, I have to say, in terms of, like, scans and stuff we've gotten for the show i'm amazed that we have not gotten any information about like any new riders they're just really just focusing on there was a scan that was circulating today like late this today and yesterday but it's so obviously fake it's clearly amazon neo yeah oh okay it's one of those cure man type sketches yeah yep um but yeah, so the Dead Vans are interesting, I will say that. They're, they're very brutal. They're very Mexican. They, they... <laughs> no, what? No. They, uh, so they, the, one of them looks like, uh, she said he looked like Keiichiro. Yeah, the, the blue dude in the sombrero, he looks almost exactly like Keiichiro from Pat Ranger. I wish we were allowed to, like, still play, like, gifts and stuff like Ooh, that. Yeah, because I wanted to see the, the clip of just him just walking super serious face with the sombrero on. I thought you were going to say the shot of him with his hands spread licking his lips. Like, with a, <laughs> like, I know that had to be fucking improvised. That'd be probably funny. Just, probably had love that um but yeah so they're they're interesting and i feel like they'll give it their monster forms are cool oh yeah especially julio's i yeah. love his with the gun Ulio? it probably is it's probably Ulio. yeah that's uh there we go what you can't touch this <laughs> he's he's something else and we have frizo amigo he's like something else amigo i just want i just wanted to start singing songs from coco <laughs> make me fuck a lot go na, 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 na. wow I wanted oh to do a hat God. dance. I love Coco. That movie made me fucking cry with a baby. It it is. It's 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 great. It's a great movie. Pizza yeah. Amigo. Pizza Amigo. Yo, can we have fucking Samigo show up as a cameo in this? That'd be cool. That'd be awesome. <laughs> cool. Cool. Pizza Amigo. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So then we get introduced to the Igarashi family. Yeah. The way they segue into that is apparently the candidate that George has selected to be the user of the revised driver. <laughs> His is, brother is not, in fact, Iki, our main character, but Igarashi Daiji, his brother. Mm-hmm. And we immediately name, know where this is going. Yeah, his name literally means like precious thing or important. Precious. Yeah. Yeah. Also, oh. Iki has like Rapunzel energy doing all the chores. I, I just like I just like his name, Iki Igarashi. Like, I also like, like that that's in his, my life. It's Jesus. part of his catchphrase too, because he's like Iki ni Iki or whatever it is, because he means like let's do it right away. Yeah. Yeah. But the name Iki is in that think sentence. About it. The main character of um, Metabot. Yeah, also Metabot. It's better than they pronounced it wrong in in the dub, but it's, be- it's better than the main character uh, Kento's the catchphrase in Ultraman Trigger. The smile is safe. That was fun. Yeah, he's a botanist. But yeah, no, I like how you mentioned Metabots because now I'm gonna be tempted all year to just dub over um, I- is Vice. Icky and Vice <laughs> as Icky and Metabi. Crush it, you call me a piece of jack. <laughs> just like they do their hisatsu metaphor metaphors <laughs> right it, it, it isn't complete completely on without any basis okay well we know that the thumbnail has to be just fucking meta b and icky with my vice's faces with, like, over them. Heads on them yeah it's gonna be the most lazily done thumbnail ever but it works <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Just like he sends Vice out to attack. Attack mode! Meta V! <laughs> Form change! Vice, change! Vice. Meta part! Go get your riders. And Vice just turns towards the camera and he's like, he's like, they think he has the wrong show. It's time to battle, <laughs> rider battle, till you drop more ri- common riders. More Vice stamps. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, I think I just unlocked a unlocked a box. Of if you've never seen, if you've never seen Metabots before, go watch it. It is an iconic, fucking awesome. It's Pokemon with robots. It, it's it's fantastic. It's such a shame that's not a more prominent franchise. Prominent it's franchise. Not really neat, stylized animation that flows really well. They have everything you want. They have cool epic battles. They have this badass loner robot named Raku Metabot named Raku Show. They have a fucking tournament arc. And it's gimmicky as fuck. There's toys and games. Yeah, my, fa- my favorite. Yeah, my but we never got most of them. But my, thankfully, now that's not a problem anymore. My personal favorite Metabot was Arc Beetle by Space Metal Fighter X. All right, let's not tangent on this too long. But I will say that Emily, you've just enabled me to enjoy the next year. <laughs> um, I, 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 uh, but that, but they're not the same thing. Don't, don't, 
It was just a silly joke. Yeah, and they'll have fun making more of those. Uh, but honestly, from what we got in the first episode, Icky is Don't a very cloud the truth. <laughs> Icky, Icky is a very, very, very sweet lad. Yeah, and we find out that apparently he was going to be a soccer player, but apparently did not go pro for a reason we will probably find out very soon. At first, I thought like the soccer player on the poster was his dad, and his dad died or something in, a, in an unfortunate soccer accident. No, apparently his dad <laughs> is a fucking YouTuber. Yeah, so I like like uh, Northcaster was in watching with us earlier today. And like we, he saw like the mom and dad, and I, 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 he's like, they don't look old enough to be his this guy's parents. And I was like, no, they don't. They work in a bathhouse. They take care of their skin they're real well. Youthful. They look so yeah, healthy. Youthful and youthful. Because they bathe in like <laughs> mineral salts, I guess. Also, saw Daddy Ninja. Yeah. The father from the Ninja is one of the regular customers of the bathhouse. What's his name again? Oh, I freaking forget. Okay, it was a very cool name, too. I'm gonna look that up quickly. But yeah, no, so he saw... Chat, him, uh, what was Daddy Ninja's name? Yeah, yeah, there he is in the, in the far right. Daddy yeah, Ninja. giving his wife a massage. Samujin? Samuji. Samuji. Yeah, Samuji uh, Igasaki or something. Igasa like Ig yeah. Yeah. Was it Igasaki? Was it Igaraki? Igasaki. I don't know. Yeah, Igasaki. Someone Google it. Uh, yeah, so I, I guess he's got, I think, like, he's gonna be, like, a recurring character, like, side character, because, yeah, like, the like, main, he, like the he's, main he's custom, a regular. Yeah, the main customers of the bathhouse are gonna be, like, regular side characters, it seems. But I like that! I like that, just, I like that, that that's different. It's just like, oh, they own a bathhouse, it's like a family. I just head Canada, uh, like, Daddy Ninja got sick no, of no, the no. Ninjas, and he just had to get away and marry this other woman that has this whole other side <laughs> family. <Yep. laughs> Characters are not the same person. I know, but it's funny. I like to believe he, he, he eloped. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, he was already divorced from his wife because, yeah. But... <laughs> Got rid of his ninja powers for good. Yeah. Um. So his fucking dad comes in and he's like. I just got back from filming this amazing video where I tried to do a hundred and thousand rope jumps. Oh yeah, how many did you do? Two. Oh, so he's one of those. He's dads. an awful YouTuber. Yeah, no, of course. <laughs> one of those like awkward dads who like tries to review stuff and then. Yeah, and then they're at fucking dinner and it's like. Mom, why'd you marry this weirdo? Oh yeah, well you once said you would want to marry Pop when you grew up. I did not. I have fucking video proof. Don't bring that up. <laughs> you sit the fuck down. Um, and it also was cute because like Iggy was like congratulating his brother on uh, becoming captain of yeah, uh, Phoenix. Apparently Daiji is, an, is already an employee of Phoenix, which is the company that was built to fight the dead man. Yeah, they have an airship, so it's like Iggy airship. <laughs> oh boy. I know. Yeah. Um. And so, like, Eki made like a like a uh, like a congratulations Daichi flag, and he and even so managed to drag all the regulars of the bathhouse out to this fucking ceremony <laughs> that looked like they filmed it at goddamn Dashcon. I, I loved the fucking building they were in; it was super cool. But I like that, like, uh, like, uh, like one of Daichi's like uh, comrades is just like, "Is that your family over there?" And he's fucking like, he's, no, he's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, he's embarrassed of them. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. But yeah, and so, um, and so, yeah, this show's about, like, confronting your inner demons. Everyone's got an inner demon and stuff. So I, it's, I, it's basically JoJo. I love Seven. <laughs> the dad's gonna film a video. Today I'm gonna review the Revice Driver. <laughs> that they should have done, they should have actually done that for the actual YouTube video channel. No, you know what it should be? be? There sh cool. should be an episode where, like, his father does, becomes, like, successful because he's, like, Using his son as like content, or like maybe he like gets his battles maybe he gets targeted and his inner demon is a successful YouTuber. <laughs> I like we're all just assuming that your inner demon is the very opposite of what you are. Or maybe it's like your your untapped it's it's a, maybe yeah, it's a, yeah, something yeah, like it's your so untapped much. potential. Yes, Jerry, that you're very much correct. It does have like a slight tinge of rube ultraman rube. i sure hope his inner demon isn't pewdiepie because ultraman ultraman rube was very uh very family focused ultraman it feels um yeah the idea of making a contract in order to transform and fight better also reminds me of madoka actually I and mean, also I, deno actually i mean i think if you watched an ultraman series i think you'd really like rube it's very wholesome 
Uh, but anyways, uh, so yeah, so they go to the award show, whatever like that. It um, looks like it was filmed at the building DashCon happened at. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. Uh, an extra hour in the stamp pit. <laughs> the stamp pit. Oh god. I'm sorry. So, the, so the, so like the the leader of Phoenix, I think, or like one of the heads. Yeah. He he like starts like talking about the speech and everything like that, and then just George just fucking comes in and just goes boring, hey, boring. Anyways, here's the cool shit. shit. Fifty years ago, we found all this shit. Blah blah blah. We invented the device stamps to. Some monsters are fucking up town, and we're fucking them back. By the way, my father invented this shit, and he's gone now. But oh well. <laughs> well, he said like the way that they did it was by isolating biology within them and all I could think was, so they he ended up making, they ended up discovering midichlorians. Kinda. Well, Animal themed midichlorians. So supposedly, like, George's thing with the vice stamps was that he's a fan of the common riders and then also he decided he wanted to mix that From with seeing animals. his phone and the plushies he had in the other episode? I would say yes. Yeah. But like, I love it, it's like all of this shit was made by my dad. And he's dead now. Well, he ain't getting any deader. <laughs> God. And then, yeah, he brings up the bell to show everyone. And then Dead Man's attacks. Yep. They, they, they blow a hole in the door. Blow a hole. They it's drop very, rubble on people. Very surprisingly brutal attacks. Yeah. Oh, and they, 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 they captured a, a prisoner who was heading to prison because, like, he was wanted or whatever. And, like, he was already in a straitjacket and a prison in uniform. And they oh, took him and they mm -hmm. sacrificed him to turn into a mammoth. Uh, they didn't human. sacrifice him. We, they... we didn't talk about how they how Vice has already shown up at this point and like. Yeah, yeah, like completely. You can just see him. Now. Yeah. Completely unprovoked, no inciting incident that I could detect, unless it's some like Persona Four shit where like he shook someone's hand he's and the, that he's the protagonist. Yeah, um, Vice just shows up and starts yelling in his ear, annoying shit. <laughs> and and this is the one this is one of very of very few tropes in fiction that I really really dislike the whole reacting awkwardly to something that's not viewable by others like because vice tries to eat the food and and Icky dives at it to try and stop him but and he's intangible and then, then he destroys he destroys Asgard <laughs> um but yes uh I really, I'm sorry I I, I really hate that motif of like, oh, I'm trying to stop someone invisible from doing from making some mayhem, and then no one knows what happened, like and you're... I and I look like I'm the asshole, and it's real awkward, but I can't explain it. Yeah, I, I hate that. I hate that trope. Um, yes, Jerry, you're I right. The, you George it's is really right. unfair. George's yeah. right hand man wasn't Amazon's. He was the he was the stamper. Yeah, he was he was the one who had to kill his mother because his mother became an Amazon. Yep, Fuku. <laughs> yeah, it was it was very uh, bad. Yeah. So, well, go watch Amazon. Good to see he's been promoted since then. <laughs> he looks weird without his glasses, though. Yeah, he also looks like he's got like a thicker face. Yeah, um, it's been a while. It's been a while. Um, yeah. So like, people are fucking getting attacked and shit like that. And so then like, Vice kind of well, first off, like the the head of Phoenix, like he he's like he's like oh I'll use the bell. George's like I don't think you can. Oh well, someone has to, and so he like puts it on. What's he, really interesting about that is George knows that leader guy whose name escapes me, quote unquote, wouldn't be able to control his inner demon. So this makes so me think, think that, that yeah. this guy's got some unresolved issues we're gonna deal with later. Yeah. So he tries to use the belt and it doesn't work, and uh, because Instead of that, he summons, he, he summons the Rex demon. Dead man. No, dead man. Yeah. So that came from him, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. His inner persona was a T Rex. Um. <laughs> Just like how the criminals, the violent dude, was a mammoth. I know it's actually because of the stamp. George was smug when his point was proven. Well, yeah. Cause what do you mean? He knows how his own fucking belt works. It's just like, I tried to tell you, but you did it anyway. Yeah, no, he doesn't want some guy who doesn't know what the fuck he's doing to use his belt. You're not the protagonist. Because, like, you know, he didn't design this thing with him in mind. He knew he probably he knows he can make his own belt. Oh yeah, he's probably got his own in the back somewhere. Because he knows that he needs someone who's like stronger and more of like you know more strong minded and stronger willpower and stuff. So, which I guess that was Daichi, but no, because he 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 grabs the belt from the ground and he's holding the belt and the stamp and he's just like I can't do it. I don't know what I need to do it. I don't want to be a 
protagonist. He actively refuses the call, which I was not expecting. I was well, thinking it, that it would accidentally go to Iki or something. It's, it's not. It's not he refused. He was just scared because yeah. he, he didn't. He, he realized he didn't feel like he was up to do it. A stamp so. killed my father. <laughs> His career. Um, but yeah, and <laughs> so then, uh, so Vice is kind of out, and he's he fired, and he's like, he's like, hey man, like make a contract with me. I can, I can help you out. You need, you need a demon. I can make you big. <laughs> Let me out and I'll yeah. beat those guys up. I just want to see, yeah, Wayne, that's... Wayne, I just want to see Wayne Knight as a fucking demon. <laughs> the theme of this week is two beings combining to fight things. Yeah. Uh, Icky, Icky, it's, it's Vice. <laughs> He's calling Vice here. You, you got a soccer game in five minutes. Fixing the divot. He's <laughs> fixing the step! He's fixing the driver! <laughs> um. So Icky decides to make the contract with Vice, which then we get to see Vice like in combat unhandshined and... He's powerful. Oh yeah. He's I like sneak. He fucks some shit up. Yeah, no, he does not. He does not like. He's not full of fucking shit. He no. Well, and then he tries to eat his mom. Yeah, so his mom gets gravely injured. Yeah, that's some and, fucking gratitude. Yeah, the mammoth dude actually injures his mom, and for for a second, it's like, oh, his parents gonna die here, and that's gonna motivate him. No, actually, surprisingly, the mom just gets injured, and apparently, it's fine by the end of the episode, despite being in the hospital. But. Oh, she's recovering. Yeah, she's recovering. But, like, even though Vice owes his corporeality to Icky for letting him, for doing the contract, he's like, hey, look, that woman looks tasty. I'm gonna well, eat it. Well, yeah, he said, like, he helped, he helped, like, protect his family, but then decided as a thank you, he's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat this person. So I don't think he knew it was his mom. Like he was just like, I'm gonna eat this person. I mean, no, he it wasn't yeah. it was completely random. He literally just turned over, looked at her, and went, You look tasty, boing. Yeah, so he goes to do it and then George is like telling him, like, no, put on the belt, you can control the demon. So then he puts the belt and he just goes, <laughs> and then Vice gets sucked back into his poke belt. I, I do like just the sound of him like getting cut off when he gets like in Icky's body. I was, yeah. He <laughs> says later he was he says later he was just joking, but I legitimately don't know if he was actually gonna eat a person or not. I'm more on the side of he was probably going to. He was very we serious. We know so little about how demons work in this world that I don't know if they eat people. <laughs> you gotta wonder if, like, the fact that he attacked Icky's mom might be some sort of statement about Icky. Because, like, Vice is Icky's inner demon. I feel like what does that say about how Icky feels about his mom? No, but maybe he'll, maybe, like, he'll, we'll figure out more. I think there's more to Vice than we know. Of course there is, but, maybe like, a, what direction are they going with this? He's a special demon. Probably. Um because like they're establishing that in this series, in this in this narrative, everyone has an inner demon and it's up to us to deal with them. What's your inner demon? Post Tell in the us, comments. Post in the comments. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just thinking of like Venom just if you are a loser. <laughs> <laughs> On a related note, they just this past week announced Spider Man two And we're getting Venom. Yeah Which means I Where's hope my to... Tony Todd. I hope we hope we get black suit Spider Man. I just love Peter and Miles rolling up like they're the goddamn double riders. Oh yeah, Tony Todd's gonna be voiced in Venom because he's in Candyman. <laughs> Can't take that seriously. Um. So then, yeah, he gets on the belt, and then like we see George just go like, you know, with the stamp, do the punch, and he does the Ichigo pose. Push the stamp, do a dance. That's the way to keep dry pants. <laughs> Nice and, I nice remember that episode of What's With Andy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Freedom! I Freedom! I love George's face when he's just like, Hen Shin Shou! Yeah, he's, he's like, like do the thing! I'm at half-mast! <laughs> but yeah, no, again, I just loved when, no. like, when he gra when Icky grabs the bell no. and George just goes, hey, 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 hey! Like, I love that. And so then, yeah, so we got the henshin no. sequence. It's, it's, it's very awesome. <laughs> all right, all right, let's, let's talk about that. So... The henshin sequence, first off, the version that we saw did not have the text message subtitled, but we did see that earlier. But, uh, I was wondering I, what that meant. It's just them yelling at each other. And then Aki just decides to breathe it's on like, the camp. Hey, what was that about? Oh, it's just a joke. Yeah, you tried to kill my mom. No, I never. Basically, no, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. No, I did, man. I don't know. Anyways, I will say, what I like about the henshin... The standby chime, very cool. I like that. I like all the standby chimes. Except yeah. the eagle one. Like, e I heard the eagle one. It goes like, e eagle! When it should be going, e eagle! You'll have to really listen to pay hear the difference. Anyways, you know what I mean. Um, 
I like that Vice floats around holding the giant stamp while the standby chime's going. Yep. And then as he activates it, he just boom, just dunks it on him. Yeah, and then and we get the whole sequence, and then um, and like we just see the parts go on to Vice, and he like kind of like fits his helmet, like his little headpiece onto onto his head. And so I really like that. I re- I really like their both their their design, like Vice's design. It's really cool. One thing I don't like about the henchmen is how like. Revised Henshin and Vice's Henshin seem like they're completely separate, unrelated events. You know what I mean? Because, like, they're not both in the bottle. Vice is just floating there, and then the emblem just breaks into armor for him, and it's completely unrelated to Revised Henshin. Yeah. I, I do like where it's like, Come in, Raider, revive Vice, revive! It's more of, like, a, a, a dual transformation, like, like the Precure originally had. Yeah, but I feel like if the fo- if the focus is on them transforming together, they should be side by side with the effect happening to both of them. You know what I mean? Yeah. The Vice is a Revi cosplayer. I like that. <laughs> yeah. I used what I had while you are out at home. Also, also, I found someone on Redbubble who's selling, like, Vice's mask that he wears. But, it, like, after shipping and everything, it came to, like, $60. So I was like, no, it's not worth that much for a mask. Yeah. So maybe I'll, if I find, like, a cheaper one. Or if, like, Premium Bandai releases, like, an official Vice mask, maybe I'll get that. But I, I like, I love Vice. He's just so fun. He's exactly, like, a kind of character I've been wanting in Rider for, like, a long time. And, like, as they're fighting, he's, like, breaking the fourth wall breaking and talking the fourth to wall. the audience. Talking to the audience. And I love that we get... Finally, we get, like, a kind of really awesome demonstration of how powerful Ryder is, because we see Revice, like, kick this fucking mook's head into a fucking concrete wall, yeah, and the concrete it. breaks That's and the shit. shot. And I'm just, That was like, a good shot. Oh, yeah, and I, I forgot to say earlier, the fucking juniors, as soon as I saw them, I was like, Genmu zombie gamer? They do look like the Genmu zombie gamers. <laughs> so someone is weapon, he just stamps his hand, and it just shows up. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. Like the Orin bust. I like George brings like yeah the 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 guy and like stamp. He's like, Let's do the thing. <laughs> oh yeah, him gesturing like like stamp. Yeah, <laughs> stamp, stamp, stamp. And just like in the Odona special, if one dies, the other dies. Yeah. Although That's I don't, a weird I, theme for this week. I don't know if like if Vice died, would Iki also die, or if it is both ways, or if it's just yeah, one way. Yeah, I don't know if it's both ways. That's, that's well, I kind of I kind of hope that they do have like a s- symbiotic relationship. You know what this kind of reminds me of, and this might be weird to say, but it's kind of like Inuyasha, like with the like with Inuyasha. The shit thing? Yeah, Inuyasha and Kagome yeah. working together because they have to. Yeah, it's like, oh, you're the, you're the reincarnation of my fucking yeah. dead, dead girlfriend. It is kind of an interesting dynamic, and it's it's not very it's not as similar to Deno in its execution, even though their initializing concept is very similar. Also, yes, Vice gets thick T Rex legs. <laughs> that's Revi. Or Revi, sorry, sorry, that's what I meant. Yeah, I guess each uh form can do like its animal ability. Yeah. I really like the legs too. I would even be cool if those were like the deep way it looked always. I would be more okay with this if when he got the giant legs, he also had tiny arms. <laughs> they should have did that. But like, I saw him, like, jumping around with the T-Rex legs, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember when T-Rexes could fucking jump. <laughs> mm-hmm. They can jump. Oh, you weren't yeah, there. Good. They could be. <laughs> you weren't there. No, see, that, that was, you know what I was thinking? I was thinking that today when I was saying I was uh, having a I'm like, I'm, I'm like, sorry, it, the more, said that. like, like, the things we know about dinosaurs, we, for all we know, that's not fucking true at all. Yeah, like, you've seen the whole, like, if you they saw a hippo skeleton today, it would look like, it, they'd reconstruct it, and it would be like this Star Wars looking Do we, do we know they were all wiped out by a meteor? We don't fucking know. We weren't there. Uh, no, they all died in <laughs> old, they all, they, all di- they all died in weak old chip bags. Uh, no, c- according to Dr. Mr. Freeze, who killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age! The Ice Age! <laughs> Um, and, yes, yeah, so, I'm, so, I'm, I'm still th- laughing at you weren't there. <laughs> I'm, I don't I know why there, I said right. that, but that was, that was an accidental moment of, like, <laughs> no, that was funny. clarity. Um, and of course, you know, I'm they're, like, they're, 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 they're a combo, they're a duo, 
Of course they're gonna have a fucking sick ass Hisatsu together. Double Hisatsu. Double rider kick, and it's fucking sick. Yeah, I like one side, the other side, bang! It was so cool. Yeah, I, I like that they like they summon like a giant holographic stamp that goes in like the end of their fucking foot, and then just like, Ugh! and then there, like you, we get this cool your wizard. Shot. That's your wizard reference. Yeah, right. And then we get this cool shot of them like kind of like uh, flying by each other side by side, and we just hear freaking Vice go shaking. Yeah, sound effect. Yeah, so I really like that. Even when they're like um. When they're like uh, um, attacking, the impacts are like shaped like a stamp. Yes. Like, yep. They they really put the budget to fucking work for this ep this debut episode. Oh, absolutely. But no, it was a really good first fight, and I liked. It. I even liked that like Vice is like talking to the audience or whatever, and then like the camera switches over to Revi, and it's like, wait, what's he done talking yet? What's fucking going? I'm not done yet. And so yeah, and then he goes over to Yankee and he tells him like, "Oh, a really good fucking like combo and combi or whatever like that." And then <laughs> and he's just like, "I'm trying to kill my mom, man." Not fucking not cool. cool. So then he takes the he takes the belt off and uh, George is just like, "Vice goes back in his Pokemon." Hey, man. You're pretty good at this rider thing. How would you like to be? Well, you're, also you can, you're hired. Also, he explains their name yeah. to them, and so Vice is like, "Oh, I'm Vice." Cool. Yeah. So this is interesting. Yeah, uh, he didn't have a name yet. Uh, yeah, I guess Vice did not have a name. So common rider. It's kind of the opposite of the trope I hate, where the character becomes the rider who's named after their character, and this is the opposite. A character without a name becomes a rider, and then they just take that as their actual name. So. <laughs> Guess I hate it less. Yeah, and but yeah, so then like Vice is excited about that, and then George offers Icky like a job to become Comrade uh, Vice, and Icky's like, Nah, I'm good. Nope. I need to protect my bathhouse. Yeah. I, and I, I want George to be like, Well, you know, you get this belt, you can protect your bathhouse as a rider. But he is just like, What? Um. So then he goes. He, they go to the hospital and uh, like they see his mom and his mom's awake and find they're like, "Who's taking care of the bathhouse?" <laughs> if you're slacking, I will be pissed. And then the the, husband, the dad's just like, "I'm sorry, honey. I'm gonna take care of it." Your mom being like ha like absolutely torn up, but then immediately <laughs> getting mad at them for slacking off was kind of amazing. Uh, yeah, and so the next episode, apparently, Icky signs a contract to become a rider, so that's amazing. Yeah, I guess he works he, for he Phoenix. He makes a deal with the devil. <gasps> I mean, he kind of already has. I mean, well, we've already known this, that cor corporations and rider are usually evil in the end. I don't know, Kogami technically wasn't really evil. No, but, but Sex was, and Smart Brain, and... Yggdrasil. Yggdrasil, Gamu Corp. <laughs> they were an evil gaming co company. Yeah. Well, you know what? Gamu Corp wasn't evil. It was their president. But their president was fucking insane. So, and then they, he, they got, he got taken over by the burger guy. Yeah. yeah. So it looks like next episode we're going to see Eagle Genome and the fucking Rex remix. Also, yeah, we got... We have to find 19 more stamps. Stamp collection screen. I like it. I hope one of them... It kind of says 50. It does say 50. Yeah, except the five is squished down. Uh, I hope I hope one of those is a drive stamp. I really want a drive stamp. Mm -hmm. And like I said last week, I hope it's a bear. Big bear. Um, but yeah, overall, honestly, pretty good premiere episode. I really enjoyed it. I'm already fucking on board for this show. Vice is my favorite character. I, I love him. He, he's fantastic. So I'm in. I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens next in this one, too. I'm in. I don't like any of the suits, but I will say I have, I was excited by the events I watched happen. So perhaps the story, maybe the characters, will keep me interested. I feel like this is just a fun show we need right now. So Yeah. Yeah, so tune in more for more advice. I know I will. <laughs> or else... Anyways. <laughs> or else Vice will show up and break the fourth wall. He'll fart, yeah. he'll fart in your face. Oh, no. No, no, no. Come on, no. <laughs> uh, anyways. It's when you smell when you smell something gross and you don't know where it comes from, it's because invisible demons were farting. Wow, okay. Exactly. I'm anyway, sorry. It's okay. Anyways, change to Zenkai. So it looks like we're finally starting to shift to a real fucking plot focus. 
because uh, this episode is all about Stacy getting powered up, and Jesus Christ, is it one hell of a power up? Yeah, I wish it was called like Super Stacy's or something. <laughs> I it's love a that Super that Caesar. That shield is so cool, but I'm biased because I like shields. <laughs> it's all right. It's not the best shield. I've seen better, but the him... shield against a gun is cool concept. Yeah, he's got he's got a shield. He's got bottle rockets. I love it. He literally gets a fucking missile add-on to his arm. That's the only thing that changed aside from him having the shield. I honestly never even noticed before that he had like a white stripe on his helmet. Like, I thought yeah, you had... thought that was new, and I'm like, no, that's always been there. Oh wow. Uh, but yeah. Stacy Nator. So we we find out like the nickname for him is because the name of the episode is the uh, the Cyborg Prince. Yeah, I mean. We kind of knew that. Yeah, so Ichirude saved his life, and then we find out that apparently he saved him because he, he extracted Kaito's mom's blood. Yeah, and he that's, took blood from And that's why he keeps seeing weird visions when he looks at it yesterday. And also why blood Yachan kind of, you know, it's like, you remind me of my daughter. Yeah. Not my son. <laughs> There's now a reason. Oh, uh, and so, yeah, so he gets, like, a new outfit and stuff, and then, like, he runs into Kaito, and Kaito's, like, super relieved that he's not, like, dead. Yo, sick new thread! Stacy's just like, yeah, we're and fighting you now! And you're then he just time. says, rematch time now. No, we met to, we met time, let's go. <laughs> and because he has a new form, kind of, it's a different gear, because it says, Feebon! Yeah. Because which I I guess it's like fever slash burn slash bond, which is number. Yep. So it's like number fever, I guess. Yeah, battle team. Yeah. His transformation is kind of cool because it had like um, like teeth showing up on the bottom of the gear wheel and. Oh yeah, the new transformation sequence he has is rad. Yeah, but I'm sad they got rid of like that the night vision goggle like Wee! sound. That's yeah. true. I, I really like that. Yeah. But him summoning the shield, and then his name is now in, like, Curse's attack. Yeah. Uh, I guess cursive is an upgrade, I don't know. Yeah. Um. And then he pulls out more new gears and summons a black version of Zenkaio Zuragon. And it looks he fucking boot, like, dope. Like, colors. Yeah. It, it just, I like that it has matching colors now, and it actually... Behold my Chinese bootleg! It's a pretty broken-ass broken mech! Yeah. Oh, yeah. It splits apart, creates black holes, and can teleport, and... I love that one shot where it, like, breaks into the two zords, which both start fucking biting Tukayo. I kind of wish we would have seen the actual Zenkaio, uh, Zero and Gaon fight him. It yeah. would have been nice to see, like... I'm sure we'll get that soon. I hope so. I want to see Black Ruma Jean. <laughs> yeah, right? Um, and then, so then... Oh, if they had all of them. Right? So, like, Kaido gets, like, kind of injured from this fight with Stacy, and then he kind of just, like... He feels bad because, like... He, uh, like... They're like, oh! Like, Yachin's like, oh, you got injured! Like, from who? And... In which world like, was it which today? World? Oh! We can't remember, and Broom's just like, well, it was Stacy we fought, and, and, and like, so because she calls Stacy Satoshi, she's like, oh, it's that Stacy person again. She, yeah, she doesn't know that Satoshi is Stacy. Yeah. And so I just love that, like, after Rune fucking blurts it out, they just conk him on the head, and he sort of, like, retreats his head into his neck. Like, like, like what did turtle? I do? Well, it's like, yeah, well, it's because, like, for being so smart, he's super dumb, too. Yeah. So... Um, and then, yeah, like, Kaito, I guess, just kind of, like, gets in this funk. He's, he wants them to be friends, so, because he likes that Stacy and Yatsude have this thing going. And I feel like this is how we're gonna segue into Stacy becoming a good guy. They're gonna find a I way to resolve this peaceably. That it's probably going to happen, I hope it does, and I hope that he doesn't get hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Maybe they'll have to turn him into a real boy! So then... For some dumbass reason, reason Ichirude, like, left Kaido's mom's pot open. No, no. Stacy discovers that they have his mom in a pod, and then Ichirude fucks off, and Stacy at one point opens up the pod and just leaves it. Because, oh, I didn't notice that part. Yeah, no, no. He, this is, he's being all fucking tsundere about wanting to help Kaito, so he just, like, leaves his mom open and unattended. 
And she just sort of leaves the pod and is like, oh god, where's my husband? And then just leaves. Yeah, and apparently run escapes through the parallel, parallel world gate. And now we're I'm gonna go on this magical she... world hopping adventure to find her. I was really hoping they'd do some world hopping themselves, so I'm glad that they are. Okay. I, I just hope this is a whole arc and not just a one episode thing. Sorry to go off topic here, but I just like went on Twitter for a second, and apparently the it's like the ninetieth anniversary of the original like Dracula movie. Okay. To celebrate. Wow. Apparently, apparently they crossed over Dracula with Transformers. What the okay, that's fuck? Actually really, that's really cool. So they put, it's called Draculus. What? <laughs> that's actually pretty What does he turn cool. into? What does, like, vehicle Pro mode Probably like? a bat. I like to think he that turns into, like, a bat or something. A bat. Or, yeah. or a coffin. <laughs> yeah, so it's a fucking... Oh my god, look at the box! It's a VHS tape! Yeah, it's a VHS tape! That's amazing! Oh, I, I didn't even notice there was a tape until you said that. So yeah, so it's yeah. That's so cool. We're gonna show that to Cell and Gar later because I think they'd appreciate that, especially Cell. I think. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's great. Um, anyways, um, so yeah, so Kaito's mom like wakes up and she's just like, "Oh no, where's like my husband?" And then like Ijirude shows up and she's like, "Ah!" And like he he slips on a bunch of stuff. I love her. that. His one weakness: <laughs> getting tipped over. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Um, also, more on Stacy's power-ups, we see that not only does he have his fucking arm missiles, but he's got a fucking uniblaster cannon! Yeah, he's got like a chest cannon, and then like it gets the interrupted by like a- out, And it's gonna do something, but then Ijirude calls him back to, to make- to find the mom before. I was like, fuck! This is like the Necrom technique all over again, where he was gonna get, do this awesome fucking technique, and then we never got to see it. I wanna see his well, Sunday best. We will if we're gonna see this, though, I think we will. Right? We'll probably see it soon. So yeah, um, Stacy M. Cosen. Even I got that joke. Stacy M. Cosen. It was like Caesar Jao Hogeki or some shit. Yeah. Um. So then Kaido kind of just gets out of his funk and then decides to fight Stacy for real. Geese. It's uh, not even that. It's just like, all right, here's what we're gonna do. We'll keep fighting, and eventually you'll decide you can't beat me and decide to stop. <laughs> so he's pulling a Homer Simpson. He's just going to stand there and take the punches until Stacy falls down. Yep. Um, then he, he gets down and starts washing his face with water, but, like, while his helmet is still... I love that <laughs> I love shot. that! I love he's that shot. He's splashing his face with water like, oh, Wake shit, up! Fuck the helmet! Uh, and then, yeah, so then, like, Zox is fighting the evil mech or whatever like that and like kicking his ass and then they, it's they a go shit kicked yeah and then they use uh kaiju oh but even that doesn't work no that doesn't work you guys see like opens like a fucking black hole and a black hole and like puts out the fucking the barrage back at them and then just leaves and he just fucks off yeah and then see and then kaido, next time and then kaido does like really the thing that i knew he was going to do he immediately just tries to get his mom back because he knows his mom's alive he just runs around screaming yeah Pima! well because because <laughs> he asks he tells stacy like oh is it my mom like where is she what's this and he's just like fucking probably what did you like to fucking know bitch it might be your mom if your mom might be might be your dad <laughs> also i fucking fuck e Drude for like like stacy was about to have like his moment of glory by like uh Boko Wallace, whatever like, his name is. Boko Wallace. Yeah, Boko Wallace. And then, like, Idrid comes in, Well, it's because I modified him with my awesome science! I did the thing! And then it's me the prey! And Stacey's dad just comes up to him and just puts him on the shoulder. He's like, Yeah, you still suck. Ha <laughs> <laughs> fuck I'm, you, I'm, son. I'm still disappointed in you. Fuck you, son. <laughs> yeah, but, like, he looks like he's about to, like, say, I'm still proud of you, but no, he just literally tells him to go fuck himself. I still, still hate you. I'm still disappointed in you. So I'm like, yeah, Come you can wife blackmailed him into staying on their side. I'm gonna go like, fuck my 600th wife. Even if I was, like, an evil general and I had, like, a wow, son, no. I would appreciate my son for trying, you know? Cause but you the... would be a fair evil general. You're not evil, no. that's the thing. No, but, like... That I know. I feel like I feel like when you're when you're in an organization or something like that, or, like, you have troops or, like, you know, allies... Morales and motivations really good. So like, tell, tell me, that to so many armies throughout history. Yeah, 
Well, okay. Where are like, we fucking remember, start with that? Hey, remember Matrix Reloaded when everyone was afraid of the machine? Remember and kill them? And then Morpheus gives them that fucking big ass speech, and he's like, "We're sorry, we're not afraid." Like that, that kind they of. They weren't evil. No, I'm not talking about just evil in general. I'm talking about just anyone. <laughs> I'm talking about like, evil general. For motivation and good morale, you, anyone can have the confidence to do anything. So if, if Stacy's dad. Gave told him like, oh, you're doing a good job, son. Gave him a nice little pat on the back. Then no one ever accused fucking Barashitara of being a competent general. This is the man who got pissed off because his subordinates took a vacation. And he also had 900 wives. So this robot fucks and thus does not give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> How much sense that makes. That's why I was like earlier, it's like, ha, fuck you, son. I'm gonna go fuck my 600th wife. <laughs> He's a deadbeat dad bot. <laughs> I'd like to think he just has like this giant storage room of just all of his fucking wives. <laughs> They're just all in storage. Every time like one of them leaves, decides to leave him, he just puts them in storage. Oh god, that's awful. Maybe, maybe by like he Who has, says all of his wives are robots? Maybe they are all robots. That makes sense. Because why would he have so many? Maybe he has one from each world they've conquered. Oh no! He has like an SD Topia wife and like a. As long as he doesn't have an STD Topia bo bo boxing world wife. He has a trash wife! <laughs> trash world wife! Trash world! He has a recycled wife from Recycle World! Oh no! A uh, retro wife from Retro World! What does that mean? <laughs> he has a vacation wife from Vacation World. She was always leaving him on vacation. Oh! <laughs> you know what? That's my head cannon. Is that all of his wives no, are all from, no. are one wife from each of the worlds yeah. they con conquered? We need a fucking remix of that fucking that NSP song. That is a theory. We need a remix of the NSP road trip song of Barashitara fucking women from all across the multiverse. I go down to Estetopia. <laughs> <laughs> These season. girls are tiny Lego robots. Oh, I'm down. As <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's getting blown up by the Zakaiers. <laughs> yes, one of them is a bullfighter. Yeah, bullfighter wife. <laughs> Anyways, that's my head cannon. All of his wives that he has are, are just, from just different say, worlds. Just say theory instead, because you don't actually believe that's true. It's just speculation. Yes. I'm more interested that's, in Stacy's oh, chest cannon. I just don't use that word. It's not. It's not a nice word. Forget the head cannon. I care more about Stacy's chest cannon. <laughs> yeah, I, I think the chest cannon is a lot more important because it's actually <laughs> real. So I'm, I'm glad Stacy's like getting more attention, and because like he deserves it because he's such a good character. Yes. I'm. I'm sorry, but like I. I really like as much as I love Zox. I hated that he fucking stole Stacy's thunder. Like, just after the episode where he debuted. I'm, yeah. like, I'm like, come on, man. Fuck you. <laughs> Give us, like, another five episodes, man. Fuck. Uh, so, yeah. So, next so next episode, um... The World Tour! World Tour. Yeah, so apparently now they're going the off world? to different different worlds. Yeah. And I'm actually... This is what I was kind of hoping they would have done from the start. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be seeing some of the Topias that we've freed. Because I'm pretty sure at least one of those was like Trash Topia or whatever. I to go back to Boxing World. I want them to go to Boxing, <laughs> boxing world. Topia. Well, I hope, yeah, Boxing Topia. Well, I hope I hope they get the SD Topia gear and then they actually go to visit SD Topia. Because I think that'd be awesome. Then we can actually resolve this terrible, terrible plot line. Imagine, imagine they had like this awesome fight in SD Topia. And like... Brain blast. What if they cameo go, by they, SD Gundam? No. What if they go in there and then they just all turn into SDs? <laughs> oh fuck! SD versions of the Kikainoids. Imagine oh. how adorable that'd be. And they'd sell the shit out of those little, toys. Little SD Jiren, little SD Magina. And you know they'll release toys. Oh then. my god! And then Flint becomes an SD. <laughs> here's the, here's the thing. I don't see them actually getting rid of their curse. At least not like irreversibly. Because if the two brothers can't become the Zord, then uh, Two Kaiser doesn't have a Megazord. That's true. Well, like, they'll do something where it's like, oh, they can transform into them. Or, if they do, yeah, that's what I'm thinking, it's going to be that. Or, them being cured won't happen until literally the end of the show. Yeah. Maybe, like, the final world they fight is SD Topia. That'd be great. Love that. Um, yeah, so I, I'm excited for them to travel to different worlds for a little while. 
Yeah, it reminds me. It's getting boring. It reminds me of the World Tour arc from Digimon Season 2, where they had to go and destroy all the control spires across the planet. Yeah, that was fucking dope. I love Season 2. Yeah. It was so good. Um, anyway, so let's dive into a feature topic, because, oh, man. Oh, boy. Uh, this, yeah, this hang was, on, was, on, was a rocky. So, yeah, the Yodana special. I love that it opens with a fucking warning about extreme don't violence. Watch. Yeah, don't kids shouldn't watch this alone. As if there are any children here. It literally says, "Let me just say, a lot of maids died in this fucking thing. Wow, a lot of maids. A lot of people lots, died. Lots of uh, lots of necks being snapped. A lot and, and of necks." straight out of Hostel just in this spinoff of I think Eldridge. I think the best part well because like the first thing that Ichi and I really loved was holy shit the cameos we had in this so like yeah like even the Stinger's un- actor we had fucking Zuos's actor yeah Saber even the fucking unnamed nobodies were like notable tokusatsu actors but yeah Mizuki's brother Shosuke was literally played by Yosuke Kishi aka Stinger from Q Ranger Wow, he looks young. Yeah, like, it was because he didn't have the fucking, like, colored highlights in his hair. Uh, the cop, uh, captain, whatever, Enoshima, is played by Yu Kamio, a.k.a. Dr. Maki from O's. Dr. Maki, Tachibana from Amazons, he was, uh... A bunch of other Captain shit. Captain Kamiki from, uh, Ultraman X, so... Um, the Oh, lead- yeah, Guy from Orb was in it! <laughs> a.k.a. Kai from Denno. And that one nerd dude from Death Game Park. Okay, and all the Ultra Ultraman fans in this fucking chat... Did he not remind you of Juggler? Like, if, if Guy was Juggler, d- this is what he would look like. Like, he had, a, he had the evil suit on, he had fu- the weird fucking haircut. Like, he, he was Juggler. It was Guy if he was Juggler. I guess he's juggling jobs as a mafia guy. <laughs> and then we had probably the best, that there's this guy in, like, a silver coat. And apparently his character's name was Jackie Chan. <laughs> and, he, and he looked like Jackie Chan! It was scary! And then he got his... Slip by a little like a knife in a shoe. The toe blade. Yeah, the toe blade. I was like, holy fuck. And then the leader, the like the male in charge of the maid cafe, it's fucking Zeus. Yep. From from Saber. Yep. And the best part is the name of his character in the special is Zuo. Yeah. <laughs> and he, and he, he did flips and everything. Yep. Yeah, I would like is he related to Zuos? So then I just it just hit me. It's funny because it didn't hit me until he started doing flips. Yep. And then uh then I noticed. Wait a minute. In like the Yodonheim afterlife, the one dude with the red and blue spear was voiced by Kamiya Hiroshi, aka fucking uh Sholanpo. Yeah, Trafalgar Law yeah. from One Piece. Uh, I mean, it's kind of like just the afterlife waiting room for Beetlejuice. And then, like the leader of this like hit squad that kept going after Mizuki, uh, he was it was the gentle from uh, Kyoruja that was uh, Ami Ami's butler. Yeah, and then he decided to not be gentle in the special. His fucking jaw fucking hit it like broken by. At one point, after he gets his shit kicked in, he like gives him a thumbs up and he goes like, down. Like, <laughs> it spits out blood and just fucking collapses. That was great, and then horrible. So, yeah, there's, like, this guy who's, like, apparently part of Carantula's race, and, like, it's like, oh, you, you look like Carantula. He's like, I'm not related to that piece of shit. His name was D- Dachula. Yeah, so he's, like, some scientist who thought of a way to, like, revive the revive dead. Revive the dead, which he went into very full detail about how to do it, showed the instructions and the device he used, and Yodana's just kind of going, like, hmm. And then he gets his soul murdered. Yeah. All right, now pardon you. Of life. <laughs> <laughs> and like the, the Neko Neko The Maneki Neko Jamen. Went to Yodan Heaven. Yeah, it's like, oh, it's okay. You only did what you did because Emperor Yodan ordered you to. You get to go to heaven. Get to go to heaven. Hooray! <laughs> so, of course, Yodana fucking like janks the fucking guy, takes the shit, and then like goes. Peace, fuckers! So she decides, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal Jules life force because he's strong. Yeah, the way the device that she stole from Dachula works is you have to connect your soul to someone living soul for six hours, and if you succeed without them dying, they die and you get their soul. Like you get to live instead. Yeah, it's like a little tube that you connect from your heart to them. Yeah. Um, 
So we get to actually see Joel. Yeah, and Tommy Tomo. And Tommy Tomo, so that was nice. So I love that Tommy Tomo just kind of like, because music, he's talking about some stuff, and Tommy Tomo's just like, Joel, why are you dating this girl? And he's like, he's she, like, she's got a lot of good qualities to her. And you just see me just keep being like, yeah, that's fucking right. Fuck yeah, I do. No, I, I ship those two so hard. They're so adorable. I mean, the re- like, her, she's right. Like, why did he come along when they're supposed to be going on a date? Yeah, fucking so hang around. She's like, she's like, get rid of him. I'm right here. Yeah, I know you are. And also, apparently, part of their date is fucking playing Pac-Man Geo. It's a yeah. Geo. <laughs> just like on a phone. Yeah, this episode is sponsored by Pac-Man Geo. So then Mizuki goes off like back to her, play, or like she's on her way to her date or whatever like that with Jewel, and then like. She runs into her brother, who's like a rather shitty. Yeah, apparently her brother uh, Shosuke is like a rookie cop who's kind of gangly and nervous and not great at his job. But he's on the he's on the lead for a hot case to uncover the yakuza who are operating out of a maid cafe. Yeah, and like they take people and in the back, and then they like scalpel and drill out their organs. Yeah, it's an organ harvesting ring. Yep, it's a live organ organ harvesting ring inside a maid cafe and they never give up the whole moe act even when they're doing the, the organ removal. And they're like oh we're gonna, extract, gonna extract your love out of you and it's like your love. Yeah. and all i could think was if they did this and it wasn't actually like a real organ operation it was just like all part of the act people would freaking go for this like oh god i just I'm sure, like, all I could think this whole time was there are people who would be really, really into this and not be scared, and they'd be like, oh, this is the greatest cafe ever, and I'm just like, hell yeah, yeah I'm getting drilled by me. Also, a lot of the victims, I like to think, were, like, famous voice actors. Fucking sure. probably. If I could hear some voices that, like, I'm pretty sure I recognize. But, like, you, you uh, sadly, like, as, as, search your feelings, you know it to be true. Yep. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Just as that would spell. So, you know, I accidentally gets Mizuki. And then, like, they... they like, she they, ends up living inside her soul for the duration of the six hours, and I'm like... Even the way she says, like, oh, I got the wrong... It, it, oh, I did it wrong. Um, just It's just like, this is Parasite. So I'm looking at this, this episode that we're watching featuring someone possessing someone else's soul, and I'm like, didn't I just watch this an hour ago? Today's theme is just people, two people in a set fighting, I guess. One family. I don't... And so then, no. like, we, we get, like, it's such an interesting fight sequence where, like, she gets, like, means he gets confronted by a bunch of these, because, like, uh, the, her and her brother, like, they accidentally swapped phones, because they have the yeah. same phone, which, that's fine if you have the same brand of phone, don't get the same case. It's... Yeah. Different yeah. cases. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's just dumb. So, Yodana, like, kind of, like, takes, comes out of her body grabs her arms and kind of just like it's like puppeteering her around to kick their asses yeah like uses her fists it was kind of hilarious it was awesome it was awesome until that one shot where like she has mizuki like like roll over her as if she was physically standing there for her to like roll over and i'm like that shouldn't be possible but all right yeah and she just beats the fucking shit out of all of them and like at this time, like... Hold on, hold on. Orb is like, I don't know if it's the same. I didn't see Vice make out with Aki. We're on episode one. Give it time. Oh, no. Also, yeah. she makes him kick the assailant in the nuts. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of nut shots in this. Yeah. Um, and At then, least three. Yeah, and then, so, um... Oh, fuck, I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, about, Sorry, I didn't mean to About intro. Mizuki beating up the Yakuza dudes? Yeah, no... So basically the idea is she has to stay alive for that six hours for Yodana to successfully usurp her life energy. So it's like, if you die, I die. So I guess I should step out and help you. Also because, you know, this is Yodana's special, she has to have a lesson to learn. So she's learning how to emote. Yeah. She's learning learning such emotions as happiness and anger and sadness and pleasure. Yeah. Okay. Now, what say you? Hold on, oh, sorry, yeah. The word, yeah, the word they used was tanoshi, which is more. Which means tra- fun. Yeah, it's closer to fun than pleasure. But my point isn't the translation. It's like, wouldn't that be the same as joy? Why are these the four emotions? I don't know. Like, um, what is this, Super guess, Princess Peach? Yeah. I guess fear and disgust are just they don't count. Right. Well, because she's already fucking disgusted by shit. 
Yeah, but stuff. if that's an emotion, that means she has an emotion already. So then we get to like Mizuki decides to infiltrate the cafe, and so like we see her like we see this one the maid like outside guarding the maid cafe. I guess like bring this dude in, yeah. and then we literally see Mizuki walk up off screen, and we just hear the maid just go like ah, and so like she killed the maid. Or, like, knocked her out or something. Mizuki beat up the maid and took her outfit, which Coker. means this other maid is just lying there out on the sidewalk with no clothes. So then I'm seeing Mizuki in this maid outfit, and I just, like, turn to Ichi, and I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like, I need you to look up her actor quickly and just tell me how old she is. And so we looked up her actor, and Mizuki's actor is thankfully 22 years old as of this. Born in 99, up. apparently. So I'm just, I'm just sitting there like, okay, thank God. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm sorry, she was really fucking hot in that maid outfit. Thank God! My chub is justified. You're just, you're just very moral to actually care that much. Thank oh you. yeah, we don't want a repeat of the Mizul situation. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I had like an attract to this girl, this character named Mizul in uh, O's, and then we found out her actress was like 14. That was not like, cool. Ooh, uh, no. well, she's not 14 anymore. She's actually probably like 25 by now. Yeah. But still, um, but yeah, so. Yeah. Mizuki really rocked the maid outfit, I liked it a lot. Also, Yodana rocked the maid outfit, too. Yeah, there was some really <laughs> well-done shots where, like, so Yodana takes, like, full possession of Mizuki's body, so some of the fight you see it's Mizuki, and some of the fight you see it's Yodana, because Yodana's the one controlling it, but it's still Mizuki's body. Mm -hmm. That was really well done. Yep. Um, and just... And then a bunch of fucking battle maids come out. And they start fighting, and they it's have, gruesome. They like, battle maid weapons, like teddy bears and dishes. And Yodana just fucking, like, stabs. Snaps, snaps all, all of their fucking faces. <laughs> like, me and Ichi are just sitting here, and we're just like, wow! I, I did not expect this sh this special to go escalate as, or as much as it did. I had to look away a couple times. <laughs> yeah. There was a, there was a warning. No, but I didn't, I wasn't expecting, like, this, and yeah, and we get, like, a part where Yodana, like, kisses fucking music. Yeah, that's and what she does like, mm -hmm. in order to initiate the full possession. I don't know how the fuck she even knew how to, how the fuck she even knew how to do this is beyond me, but she, like, pulls music hey, inside her mind. Doesn't have emotions, but. And, and just, like, how to kiss gives people. her a big old smooch, and that lets her full possess her you somehow. You kind of see music, he's kind of like, hmm. Mm? <laughs> I'm, just I'm like, okay with this. Like I'm confused. I can't think of so, yeah, There's a lot of neck snapping, and then she fights. <laughs> she fights Zeus, and a lot of neck snapping. And he does this flip, says he's contractually obligated beats to beats the crap out of him, and then fucking smashes, punches his nuts in. It <laughs> literally finishes with a direct punch to the nuts. You like, hear it crunching. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, Carantula. <laughs> I, I, no. I, I'm so, oh, God. I mean, eh. bad, bad person, but that doesn't, that doesn't matter. Like, that's, that's visceral. And then, my favorite the scene, the and also part. the stupidest scene. The best part. The fucking. Oh, my God. The, yes, the, if you didn't think this could get any stranger, weaponized ending dance. The, the, the fucking woman bodyguard, Yanako, the bitch with the toe blade walks in and starts fighting her. Gets a few good cuts in, and then <laughs> Yodana's like, this body sucks, you should exercise more. Exercise? I know how to dance! And then she breaks into the Kira Major ending dance! It just made me wonder, who is the target audience exactly for this? Why does she know that dance? Why does anyone know that dance? And like, I like the, the, the part where she's, like, doing, like, the arm thing. It kind of looks like she's kind of, like, like edging her on. Like, like come on, bitch! Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's taunting her. <laughs> yeah, she's taunting her. And in, the, in, in the, with a mix of, like, confusion, being taunted, and just bewilderment, she somehow kicks her ass with the dance moves! And it breaks her neck, too. <laughs> <laughs> a, lot, a, lot, a lot of neck snapping and then we find out that the dr maki chief or whatever like that he's he's, he's in he's on in it on, he's evil i love that he's like you're yeah, so he was, much he was in on it the whole time yeah. you're so much cooler than your loser brother yeah who's your cop brother and then it's like we haven't kidnapped and in three hours we'll kill him like, this get, is kind of silly but i admit that i i 
I thought he I thought he was like 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 him being in on it like made sense. Yeah. But him calling the his calling her brother a loser at first I didn't realize that was supposed to be the hint that he was in on it. I thought yeah. he was just But like, like no he For some reason instead of going, Okay, we have your brother kidnapped, hand me the thing right now or we will stab him. Instead of that, he's like how about you meet us in three hours, thus giving you time to back up the video? <laughs> also, she's like, oh yeah, I, I hit, I hit, put the phone in a locker, and she's like holding the, dangling the key out in front of him, and I would have just like fucking knocked that bitch out. <laughs> <laughs> That's no. what I would have done. Wow. <laughs> but anyway, so, this is part one. Yeah. Part one. How was this? going to escalate i do not really we, know we gotta save the brother and also discover the other two emotions yeah she learned fun and sad yeah because it's like oh what's wrong she's <laughs> like i'm sad you fucking asshole <laughs> is this tears but she doesn't understand i know i know now why you cry <laughs> <laughs> why i cry so so i cannot wait to watch part Two. Right. Part two is gonna be fucking. It's awesome. gonna be gorier. It's gonna be more action. It's gonna be probably hornier. <laughs> oh, just glad these these actors left fucking in their twenties. I'm just yeah. glad they didn't actually show any organs being harvested. No, that was great. We only saw like a splatter of blood, and that was it. But, like, <laughs> I mean, a lot they, of people they, got their... they did go seem to purposefully go with less bloody um deaths like neck snapping is about as non-bloody as you can get yeah there was just a lot of really visceral sound effects yeah yeah <sighs> all, this, all this shit is happening while juru and tama are playing goddamn pac-man you're so right. gonna come back it's just gonna come back and they're slowly replaying back hey what 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 we miss man are we played pac-man geo for six hours i'm breaking up with you Nah, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking maybe! God, if she ends up with Yodan, I will not be surprised. You no, know, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna make this prediction. So, like, they said that if the transfer is stopped part way, only that amount of life energy is transferred, they're gonna stop before it's over so both of them get to kind of survive. Huh. Oh, that would be cool. It would just be Yodana living inside Mizuki forever. Fucking maybe. Oh, God, Joel's gonna be getting double then. <laughs> 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 And then they'll have like an evil Yodana baby. <laughs> oh, no, let's not. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so this was fantastic. I did not expect it to get as violent as it was, and right. I'm kind of no glad idea. it was like even that. Though, even though it warned you. I still wasn't expecting. Yeah. That. Right. I was just expecting like maybe like just some people to get their asses kicked. But I wasn't expecting like throat slits, bone and crunching, bone sounds. crunching, neck snapping, people getting their organs harvested. Like, come on. Murder Maids. Murderous maids. Yeah. Fucking battle maids. Fucking battle maids. <laughs> Man, someone told them to break a leg and they took it literally. It should be a Japanese like variety show, Battle Maids. There fucking probably is. There probably is knowing Japan. There is an actual um anime that is about maid fights, but I forget what it's called. <laughs> the only thing that I can think of is Hana Yukio Maid Tai. Well, I know there's an anime about like professional like butt bumping. Yeah. Apparently yeah, it's that's called apparently it's it gets really serious too, apparently. Uh, yeah, apparently it is like it, it knows that it's a silly concept, but oh, the whole Keijo, thing yeah. is like seriously. Also, I watched. I the, seen... Also, I watched a few episodes of the mountain, like the climbing anime. That shit was intense, man. Mountain climbing. Oh, yeah, anime? Yeah, 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 well, no, it's like it's like professional like rock climbing. Okay. And it's like it's like really fucking serious too. But uh, on the topic of battle maids, I know there's a team of battle maids in Overlord. Oh. They're horrible monsters. Are they run by uh, what's her face? Maybe the white girl? Uh, kind of. She's like a, she is a superior, but she's not the one who directly commands them. Okay. Their, their commander is a male butler named Sebas. She got, she got to bang him yet? She certainly fucking tries. Wow. Still simping on him, that's great. I mean, I've still got like five books, at least like five plus books to read. Damn. God, that's a fucking long series of books. And this is not all of them. Damn. That's, yeah, I'm looking at like right now. It's, you have six volumes and there's 11? At least. Fucking Jesus. Wow. It's on my list. Animated off of that too. I can't wait for season four of the movie. There you go. Anyways, that, that's the O'Donnell special part one. Go watch it. Like, go watch it. If you loved Kira Major, 
and you like Yodana in any kind of shape or form. Do not watch it with children or parents present. No, go watch watch <laughs> this with your friends. It'll be a fun time. It was something I don't even know. <laughs> I'm genuinely surprised that Emily enjoyed it so much. No, that's what kind of made us more wanting to watch it, because Emily said it was a fucking doozy, and I was like, oh, okay. So. I wasn't expecting to like it as much either. Like, I don't even really know how I feel about it, but it it was definitely entertaining. <laughs> well, it's like, like it's like nothing you're, about it ever felt boring. Well, it's, it's it like awakened your, feelings I never knew I could feel. Well, it's like your thoughts on like Wreck-It Ralph too. When you told me that was not a good movie, then I took your fucking word for it. I was just like, okay, then I'm not going to see it. If you know, like, Wreck-It Ralph was... two is a, is is a movie that only makes sense if you don't see the movie it's a sequel to, which is kind of a travesty. But I, I know we already. <laughs> Yeah, ten ten needs to be yo done. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why. I just uh, I don't know. It's okay. Made in Japan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways, so that's it, everyone. Um, I, fortunately, I will not be here next week because I work. So I'm very sorry. Hopefully, but Gar I, will be here next week. Try to be here when I can. We're just gonna keep tr- changing you out week after week. I'll get Gar some some point. Mark my words. <laughs> I'll get him. Hear me, Gar. I'm coming for you. Gross. I'll get no. you next time, Gar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I I just like just puns. I today I don't know why. If you were you your card, he'd be the yellow Garjit soldier. <laughs> Anyways, Jikai, Jikai Radio Center Cast Ranger. You know what else is out that we haven't talked about? The Kira Major Ryu Soldier movie. Oh, yay. <laughs> Your I'm excitement excited is... For, a... I'm excited for half of that. Oh, boy. So, yeah, we're going to talk about Kira Major Ryu Soldier next week. Oh, is that the one with the pen pineapple apple pen part? I think so. Yeah! Yeah! That's the best fucking scene in the goddamn movie! Yeah! Oh, I'm going to miss it! No! Oh, I want to see you fucking... Oh, scream. no, people are in the chat saying, no, that's the Cure Major movie. Oh, okay, you are not watching the Cure Major movie without me. Yeah, I, I, I'm I, having... Oh. Yeah, there's a sex... There's another movie that's Cure Major. Okay, solo. fine, the real soldier part, I won't give a shit about it. All right, it. cool. Good to know. I like Cure Major, though. I liked. All right. I'm, I'm losing track of what else is out right now. Oh, I love the best one See, I can't believe they went full circle with that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that'll be another week. But until then, thank you all once again for listening, watching, liking, favoriting, sharing, subscribing. The source of our hijinks is castranger.popping.com, and from there you can find all of our things. I've said it a hundred times. You said, you know what? I, you know what's there. Yep. Go there. Do the things. Click the buttons. Yeah. Go buy your bike driver out now. It's cool. It's pretty. It's stampy. It's got Lane's stamp of approval. <laughs> Man, I wish, I wish I had a revise driver. You did, Lane. It's you Call loved it. You named it Stampy. It. <laughs> oh, yeah. Where's my engine belt? Where's my engine belt? I love this Outrider theme. Where's my engine belt? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you all once again. We'll see you next week. Bye. Thanks for listening. <laughs>